They want a king. By wanting an earthly king, they have rejected me as their leader. They have set my heart aflame and resisted my love. The ungrateful are a torment to my heart. They shall turn my heart to stone. Do as they ask. Give them their king. I shall send you a man from the tribe of Benjamin. Lord, I, I, I have two sons. I said I shall send them a man from the tribe of Benjamin. But you are a jealous God. Saul, the whole of Israel is destined for you. Seer, I am a Benjamite from the smallest tribe of Israel. Why then? Are you saying a thing like this to me? Saul! Men are here! They say that the seer has anointed you king of Israel. Why did you not tell your own father this, Saul? Why did you not tell us? Lord has anointed you leader of his people. You are to govern them, and save them from Lord's enemies. Saul! Lord will come over you, put you into an ecstasy. You will no longer be your own man! Through our sacral secret! Rites hurled into the cave! Preposterous deity shrouds the mirror! No bones behind slice of flesh! Is Saul among the prophets? been foolish. Did you not hear me? Wait seven days until I come, and then I will tell you what to do. You did not come within the days appointed, and I offered up the burnt sacrifice. You have listened poorly. You have not kept the commandment of Lord, and now you will plead to deaf ears. You issued an edict. You made an oath before Lord that all would pass before the battle. Pooh Bear there broke the edict and ate of the honey. He did not know of the edict. He did not intentionally do wrong. That is of no consequence. You have broken your vow to Lord. You are no longer your own man. Although you are small, according to your own eyes, Lord's eyes perceive the king of Israel within you. Lord demands the blood of Jonathan to seal the oath. It was a childish prohibition to begin with. Seer, I cannot violate my own conscience. I will not kill my own son! I have spared Jonathan. Your pandering is odious to Lord. Lord instructed you to utterly destroy the Amalekites. Their king, their women, their children, their cattle. Leave nothing, leave no one alive. I was obedient. The people you appointed me over sought to pay Lord homage. Lord demands obedience. Not sacrifices! You call yourself a king? A king does not weakly lay blame to his people, lord or lord's prophet! We are going to destroy the cattle. In sacrifice. What does it matter when? How was I disobedient? And what of their king? Hack! The treacherous brood to pieces! 
I avenge this boundless affront! You will see things more detestable still! Lord has found a man after his own heart. David? He will be a murderer, an adulterer. He will have countless concubines. You will give your daughter to David, and she will love him. Will he love her? He will discard me, father. He will take my mother and add her to his concubines. My father and my king, my love and loyalty for you will not die. But I love David. Your kingdom is rent from you and given to David! Oh, I know it was Lord's voice and not your own. It was Lord's voice through me that proclaimed you king. I love Lord. And if he is all-knowing, he will search my heart and know this. I offer humble contrition. Lord rejects your repentance, and you! May I still worship, Lord. His children, his people, will be loyal to him all the days of his life. But your children, your people, will strike against you in rebellion. My father will forever haunt you as the better man of Lord. But Lord loves me. Lord afflicts your king. Saul is gone. Never can Nezer mad. Now he is merely a gesture in Lord's wet fist. Soothe your king. Give me David. Saul has killed his thousands. David has killed his tens of thousands. I will not hand Lord's favor over to you. Kill him. He's Lord's priest. You son of a bitch.
Philistines will be upon us in a matter of days. David is with them. But they are Lord's enemies. He is with them. And she is with him. That bitch you call mother. Have you consulted Lord? Find me a necromancer. You outlawed the necromancers. Right after Samuel died? I know a woman in Endor who has the gift. <laughs> I know of a woman. You have the divining spirit? Whom do you wish me to conjure up? Bring forth Samuel. The seer, recently departed. You know King Saul has outlawed necromancers. Why are you setting a trap for my life? To cause me to be put to death? As Lord lives, there shall be no evil thing happening to you. Saul. Why have you deceived me? You are Saul. You have no cause to fear me. Now tell me what you see, woman. Gods ascending out of the earth. Saul. Samuel. Why have you summoned me forth? To know the outcome of tomorrow's battle? Why consult me? Lord clearly answered your prayer with silence. Lord has treated you as he foretold through me. If you and your sons go into battle, Lord will do to you as he spoke through me. He will snatch the sovereignty from your hand and give it to your neighbor David. If you battle, tomorrow you and your sons will abide with me. You are on the brink of death, my king. May Lord's peace be upon you. Tomorrow, we shall be victorious. Uncircumcised men! You are Lord's anointed. I cannot! My king, your life is not your own, but Lord's. It is decreed. A dream has butchered the dreamer. I remain my own man. Go to Lord and Samuel! For the dead in heaven. Only bias fragments compose thy mass.
the Samuel rent Lord from Saul. So likewise, I rent Saul's kingdom from Saul. I did not honor the Lord's elite with the honored burial due him. No amount of cloth will warm me. My children, my people have risen against me. Even still, I will not withdraw my love from them. His Lord removed love from his first king. The Lord yearns for David's heart. Perhaps David's heart will nurture Lord. <laughs> 